You get home from a long, hard day at work. You've just pulled a 12-hour shift at the office, and all you can think about is changing into your comfortable pajamas and nestling under your warm, fluffy bed sheets. You close your eyes, and right when you're about to fall asleep, your entire body jolts up with your arms and legs flying towards the ceiling. You have no idea what just happened, but it feels like someone connected you to their car battery or that one time in primary school when you stuck a fork into the glowing red coils of a toaster. Your eyes now wide open, muscles tense, and the worst part of it all is now you are completely wide awake. What was that strange and powerful twitch that got you feeling like you've been electrocuted? Well, this is a very common occurrence called the hypnic jerk, and it happens to about 70% of us while we sleep. Don't forget to stay to the end of the video because we'll reveal how you can minimize or even completely stop these annoying jerks. Hypnic jerks, that is, not the Karen that lives across the street. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to Snooze Insider and click on the bell icon to get notified for our latest videos. Information on everything we've talked about will be in the description below. Hypnic jerk is a kind of involuntary movement in the muscle called myoclonus. This may cause twitches in the legs, arms, or in my case, the entire body. A little fun fact, hiccups are actually a form of myoclonus, and we all know how irritating hiccups are. Although there are many theories as to why someone would have these annoying twitches when they are just about to drift off, the truth is, researchers don't exactly have a clear answer as to why we have these hypnic jerks in the first place. There are two main theories that tries to explain why we have these muscle jerks. One is based on neuroscience, and the other is based on evolution. Neuroscience-Based Theory Your day-to-day -day life is controlled by two main systems in the human brain, and as you start to fall asleep, these two systems will essentially fight for control. System number one, the reticular activating system, or RAS, is located in the part of the brain that controls basic human functions, such as your heartbeat and breathing. When this part of the brain is activated, you feel alert. It essentially helps you stay awake. System number two, the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus, or VLPO, is located near the optic nerve in the brain and helps with navigating your sleep cycle. It is theorized that the VLPO is located near the visual cortex so that it collects information on the time of day based on the amount of light entering the eyes. As you begin to drift off, the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus starts to take control of the reticular activating system. This transition between the two systems is not like an on-off switch, but more similar to a slider moving from one system to the other. This shift between the two systems is not always smooth, and as the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus starts to take over, the alert part of the brain tries to maintain control and send signals to your muscles, causing these jerks and twitches as a last desperate attempt to keep you awake. When you more or less choose to sleep, system number one will help eventually release control to system number two, the ventrolateral preoptic nucleus, and these hypnic jerks will ultimately stop. So, these hypnic jerks are basically the byproducts of a war between the two systems in the human brain as you begin to drift off. Evolution-based theory. This theory is a little less popular and suggests that these hypnic jerks are linked to our primate ancestors and human evolution. Our ancient ancestors used to live in trees before evolving to living on the ground. Living up high in the trees has many benefits such as staying clear from any man-eating beasts that may lurk around at night. However, if you want to fall asleep, it could be quite dangerous. A 35-foot fall from a tree could leave you looking like what you had for breakfast, a pancake with extra strawberry syrup. Hypnic jerks may have been a warning signal to wake up the primate quickly so they can ensure the body is secure and to potentially break their fall. So, scientists believe that these hypnic jerks may be left over from our distant ancestors. Whatever the case may be, hypnic jerks may be annoying for the person sleeping beside you. They are ultimately not dangerous and nothing to worry about, according to experts. However, if you are not a huge fan of being woken up by a big jolt when you are trying to get some shut-eye, 
there are some things you can do to limit the number of hypnic jerks you experience. Caffeine, workouts right before bed, high stress levels, and a lack of sleep are all things that can cause more intense and more frequent hypnic jerks. You can reduce the chance and effects of hypnic jerks by avoiding caffeinated drinks and refraining from doing anything too stimulating to the brain right before bed. Some say that reaching a zen-like state with meditation before bed does wonders in reducing their bedtime twitches. Ultimately, the more relaxed you are, the easier it is for your brain to transition from wakefulness to being asleep. It is also helpful to think of these jerks as an onset of sleep rather than a sign that something is wrong. Reframe your brain to welcome these hypnic jerks as something positive because this is a sign that sleep is setting in and you are about to drift off into dreamland. Have you experienced a powerful hypnic jerk right before falling asleep? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so we can continue making them. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the bell notification. Share this with a friend if you think they may need a little wake up call. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, sleep well.